This is Mark Summers, and I double dare you to listen to the 3CT Podcast. Smokey has a pouch. A pouch. <laughs> he has a pouch. I, I Darn didn't... nice pouch. I didn't know that about you, Smoke. That's where he keeps his Joey. That's what he's calling it nowadays. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Everybody just tuned in. This is I have no idea what's going on. So I, I meant just... to ask you guys. I meant to ask you guys on Thursday. How was uh, trivia? Oh, hey. Light it's work. Fine. It was light work is what it was. Light work, yes. There was a few questions that were a little bogus, poorly written, incorrect. Correct. Well, and the thing that the thing that annoyed me with the the bonus question in round one, and I don't want to give too much away because I want to see how Tim can, can 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 do with these questions here in a minute. But all we did, we were asking for a clarification and she just grabs her fucking sheet and takes her first five answers. Yeah. Like, which fortunately were correct, but like you sit up in the front room of this fucking place and then you get to us last and we can't ask for a clarification. And you just grab our paper and grade it. I was, I was going to be, I was going to be a little pissed if we didn't get them all right, but we did. So it didn't matter anyway. But yeah, there was another question that was completely bogus. Bogus. Well, there's a couple other questions that were completely bogus, or at least the answers were bogus. Good, uh, we but, can start off asking Timmy that question. I don't think we asked Timmy. Well, that. here, let's 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 start it off. I have all the I have all well, the, the the last bonus is going to be worth fifty points. <laughs> yeah, so get ready, Tim. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what you've done the entire game. Right, the entire thing will hinge on that bonus. Just question. just, oh, just on that bonus. I was off by forty. <laughs> idiot! What a dumb asshole! So, how many teams were you going against? I think there was a total of nine. Said yeah, nine she said nine, really? and then like one dropped during during the show, solid during the night. They when they good. realized they were getting their asses whipped. Yeah, they were like, hey, we're not going to hang around to lose by a thousand. They tapped out. All right, so let's. All right, uh, Tim, Tim, let's see how you can do well, we here. We named our team with three count Thursday. The team that dropped out was with trivia done right, I believe. Is yeah, I think that's, like, that's what it was. We don't, <laughs> wouldn't know this. One. Or Team Tricycle or something like that. I can't no, remember. at number one. Um, all right, Tim. Let's. Uh, we, we got. We got. I guess it'd be thirty-three questions. I'm gonna take my phone is down. My hands are. I up. didn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't keep track of what the multiple choice answers, but I, I'll trust that you That's actually fine. just know these. I'm, I don't know about this. What was the name of Coco Beware's mascot? Frankie. All right. Who did Hogan defeat uh, to win his first world title? Cheeky baby. Who was the first? Sorry, the Iron Sheik. Yes, there you go. Because she won't know who Cheeky baby is. <laughs> that is, that is true. That is true. Uh, who was the first uh, Intercontinental Champion? <gasps> Patrick Patterson. And uh, that was a multiple choice question, and it shouldn't have been. Yes. Uh, because it was Bobo Brazil, Pat Patterson, yep. and who was the other one? Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes. But it wasn't Dusty. Yeah, sure. Uh, Bobo Brazil. <laughs> What tag team held Macho Man when Honky Tonk hit him with the uh, Honky Tonk Man hit him with the guitar? Oh God, damn it! Oh, this is a good one. Oh, it's probably the Heart Foundation. It was the Heart Foundation. Now, Tim, she did this in tears, so it was old school. Then what she called the Attitude Era. Yes. Um, and then it was the Puzzle Round, and was then it was in the modern Attitude Era. era? No, this, no, this is, is the, the old school. This is okay. old school. This is still old school. Now, Tim, did you see the did you see the puzzle that Mark posted already? The 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 stables. Yeah, the stables. Yeah. yeah, I went eleven for eleven. Okay, right. yeah, well, all right. So we won't go over that one then. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then the third, the final yeah, round just was. So I'm clear. I was right on the four first people in the. Yeah. Because I was not sure about Tommy Tonga. Yeah. Um. All right. Who defeated? Honky Tonk Man to end his Intercontinental title reign. Ultimate Warrior. 
Uh, na- <laughs> what is the name of the British Bulldog's mascot? Matilda. Bing. What are the name uh, names of the Winston? Yeah, they, it was we. They were looking for Matilda, which wasn't Matilda. Was actually just the British Bulldog. Was Matilda, that a, was that no, a multiple Matilda, choice too? Matilda was the tag yeah, that team was, that was. Bulldog. Winston, Winston was, was the British Bulldog. Davies. By himself. Okay, yeah, I knew it was yep. one of one of those. Um, what are the names of the killer bees? Uh, Jumpin' Jim Brunzel and B. Brian Blair. Yep. Uh, who teamed against uh, Piper against Hogan and Mr. T at Mania, WrestleMania 1? Cow- no, it's not the Ace Cowboy. He was at ringside. Who was Mott Roddy Piper? Oh, Mr. Wonderful Paul Wondorf. There you go. Uh, who Fuck. who faced Hogan in the steel cage at Mania 2? King Kong Bundy. I love that cage match. All right. Who used the flying forearm as a finisher? Oh, flying burrito, Tito Santana. There you go. And this was the bonus. Now she asked who were the five, would you see primary announcers in the WWF in the 80s? Okay. Exactly what she said. Those are her okay. exact words. Yep. yep. So, <laughs> Vince. Mm, yes. Bobby Heenan. Yes. Gorilla Monsoon. Yes. Jesse Ventura. Yes. Lord Alfred Hayes? Yes, those are the five. So we we had written down a bunch of different answers because they had, you know, they had some other commentators and stuff at the time. But we were also unsure if announcer meant like Howard Finkel. And this bitch just grabs our sheet and just grades the first five names that we had, which were those five. So we did get all five right. of the bonus. But I was shocked it wasn't a blend of ring announcers. <laughs> and backstage yeah. interviewers, and then Mike yeah. three McGurk. commentary. <laughs> right, Mike McGurk. Yeah, mean, Maj- mean the, the gene. Mean the gene. All right, mean now, round two. Again, okay, this is the Attitude Era. Okay, so I smashed old Yeah, you, you cleaned it. house in, in the first round. As did we. We, we cleaned house in that yeah, one. Good, I would have been very upset. Uh, all right, who was Rocky Mavia, I think she called him, uh, first WrestleMania opponent. The Sultan? Yes. Uh, this one we kind of already tipped you off to uh, last night. What was John Cena's first single as a rapper? All right, listen. She's wrong. She is absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. There was no single off of the WWE Originals album. Correct. His first single came off of the You Can't See or the My Time Is Now album. Yes. And I, and even though Wikipedia says My Time Is Now is the first single. I actually don't think it was when I, when I looked it up. It was up. Bad Man. Yeah. Because bad. they had a music video for it. Yeah. They did the A Team. It was Bad Man. Yeah. With Bumpy Knuckles and the trademark. In the fucking video, yeah. But she's wrong. It would. She said basic thugonomics because she she's a basic bitch, right? She, she dumb. All right. Who was the first? Uh, and this was How a multiple choice. That question then to make it correct. His first rap song released. Yes, because originals was released a year before. Correct. His yes. album. Yeah. So if she yes. said released. Well, yeah, yeah. When she first single, and yeah, yeah. When she said single, single it, it should have been yeah. It should have been off of the single the refers actual. to radio syndicate, rink radio play. Yeah, refer, usually comes with a music video. Yeah, it's good. It didn't come down to that question and us being marked wrong because it, there would have been a scene last did night. People actually get that question right. Uh, I don't know. I think they did because there was we were up by like two or three after the first round and then we were only up by one after the second so someone must have had a, a yeah perfect a round in that sweep. yeah who was the first wwe undisputed champion chris jericho yes um that was a multiple choice one um this one we also kind of gave you a tip off on last ecw champ before the the wwe bought rhino them. rhino yes um Thanks, Mark. I oh, dropped the balls, Tim. Who was the only wrestler to appear on Raw and Nitro on the same night? 
I'm thankful I'm not Ricky Rude. <laughs> Uh, who was the most downloaded celebrity on the internet in 1996? This was also a multiple Sonny. choice. Yes. No. It she, Sonny. she did give their Don't actual like it. real names give though. The actual names. Yeah. Um, Tammy Lynn Sitch. Yeah. That's what she gave us. Yeah. What a sitch. Um, what controversial event um, between Hulk Montreal Hogan? Screw job. No, between Hogan and Nash occurred on uh, January the fourth, 1999. You guys gave this away on the podcast on Thursday. Yes. Finger poke a doom. Yes, they did. Uh, which former Olympian won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck? Ah, she didn't nope, say nope, broken. Nope. She said broke. A broke freaking neck. <laughs> a broke freaking neck. Kirk Angel. Kirk Angel. Uh, who was the first uh, first victim? Who was the first wrestler to fall victim to the Stone Cold Stunner? Oh, that's tough. So this and this was, this was a multiple choice. choice. It was they, they gave um the Godfather, Savio yeah. Vega, or the Rock. Savio Vega. Yes. Or Rocky Maiva. Or Rocky Mavia. Rocky Maiva. <laughs> um, Rocky Mavis. Uh, yeah, Rocky Mavis. Uh what venue did Goldberg defeat Hogan for his first WCW title? The Georgia Dome. Correct. Uh and when WWE Div- Diva Lita debuted, who was she paired with? S.A. Rios. Yes. That was the bonus. Yes, that was the bonus. She kind of did a racism on his name, um, which was expected. S.A. Rios. S.A. Rios. Um, all right, and then the the, the final round, the, the current era. Um, Here's current, where I'm going to fuck up, boys. <laughs> uh, then, well, one so. of the questions we kind of gave you the Iggy on as well. Okay. But uh, Curtis, Angle, uh, Curtis Axel is the son of what WWE Hall of Famer? Mr. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, who was the original leader of the Judgment Day? Edge. Uh, where will WrestleMania 41 take place? Viva Las Vegas. All right. What wrestler got his start on the real world? The Miz. Uh, what is Rhea Ripley's real name? It's it's Demi. De- it's De- oh, it's Demi? Demi Adams. I'll never forget this now. Who gives a shit? Right, Demi That's Adams. Rhea Ripley, you... Adam oh, slash Bennett. Yeah. I was about to see a C word Uh-oh. real bad. You don't know her. She's not Demi to you. She's real bloody Ripley. Exactly. Uh, who I did... dare you to go up to her at a meet and greet like, Demi! And she's hmm. going to smack you in the face. Oh. Actually, I want that to happen. I was, I was going to say, actually, now I know what I'm going to do I'll if I ever her. meet Rhea I'll Ripley. Her. Hey, Demi. <laughs> hey, Demi. <laughs> The reason that this one pissed me, I don't care about knowing wrestlers real name. She doesn't have a single social media under her shoot name. It's all under her gimmick name. Yeah. Yes. Rhea Ripley. There are some wrestlers that have their socials under their shoot names. Mercedes this Verano. Is, this is Apparent, not a case of that. Apparently one group got this correct, and I think they should be put on an FBI watch list. Yeah, because they're fucking gooners. Yeah, 100%. Uh, all right, who did The Undertaker defeat at WrestleMania 31? Oh fuck! Now this was um, multiple Bray choice. Bray Wyatt. Wasn't? Bray Wyatt. Yep. Oh, uh, Undertaker's challengers after losing the streak are mush to me. Yeah, you just you just had to, to take a second to think it out. I knew you would get it's there. Mush. It's mushy. Um. Well, it's it's Wyatt. What was the next main? No, yet? no one at thirty two. Reigns at thirty three. Well, Rain the Cena, was Cena, at 34. Cena at 34 and then Uncle Alan. That was a multiple yeah. choice, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was Cena, Reigns, and Yeah, uh, yeah, that was a multiple choice. But Yeah. Uh, what, his what real name... was that? What's that? What question number was that? Six. I don't remember that being a, a multiple choice. His yeah, real name is Fergal, okay. is Fergal Devitt. What's his wrestling name? Old Ferg. Old Ferg. That's Finn Balor. All right. Who represented Donald Trump at WrestleMania 23 in the Battle of the Billionaires? Bobby. 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 Uh, who won the main event of night two of WrestleMania 36? Drew McIntyre was Drew McIntyre. Uh, who were the first WWE women's tag team champions? Boston Hug Connection. That's right. And then 
Now, this, this this one this one's kind of a bullshit set of answers, but can but this is the bonus. Now, originally she had said fifty points, but it was actually ten because the caveat was and ten are the same. You, correct is can you name five of the eleven? Um, now, this was also written before twenty twenty four because it's you know so early in twenty twenty four that we couldn't update the fucking <laughs> question. But five of the eleven WWE Hall of Famers in the celebrity wing, and the, and the caveat, you, and the caveat was if you got any of the five wrong, you got zero points. Okay, okay, okay. Refrigerator Perry, William Shatner. He you shall not be named. He who shall not be named's beer drinking friend. <laughs> Those were the first two that Mark named. Sure, yeah, Mark couldn't sure wait did. to write them down. Um, put, Bob Euchre. He put Trump in all caps. Are you sure Euchre's in? Euchre is not. Yes, he is. Okay. No, Euchre's in. So, but, Are according you to her, fucking me? Hold on. You would have got, we would have lost because of this. Yeah, we would have lost because of this, and Tim would have power bombed a bitch through Wait the. Do you hear who was ah. in there? So we we figured we figured out. She pulled the list from IMDb, and and the list was because Euchre is in, yeah, because but Trump, Pete Rose, Drew Carey, Kid Rock, Schwarzenegger, Mister T. Snoop, Ozzy Osbourne, William Shatner, Mike Tyson, and Shad Gaspard. Who was not the celebrity, he was the warrior Correct. award. Correct. <laughs> so technically on her IMDb, list... He was listed as the 11th under the celebrity wing. Yeah. Yeah. So we Why second guessed ourselves with a lot. Yeah, actually, oh, actually, I'm not even 100 percent sure the that you. Twenty ten class. Was he okay? The main dollar man and Antonio Inoki. Yeah, Euchre's in. Bob okay. Euchre, he's in there. Fuck her. He's the eleven. He's the yeah. He's the eleven. So, so. Well, there's twelve. There's been a twelfth since WrestleMania. Right. And she wouldn't. And somebody wrote that down, and she didn't give them the points. Yeah. yeah. Who was it last year? Hold on. Last year was forty in Philly, which was. Paul Heyman. Oh, Muhammad Ali. Yeah. She did not give credit for She Muhammad did not Ali. give credit to Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Maybe well, he would have said cash is clay. But yeah, we were we credit. were we were debating. We second guessed ourselves with Tyson and with Mr. T. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we weren't sure if T was considered a celebrity or an actual wrestler. He was. Yeah, he he, he was, but we we were both of those are. We knew Tyson he was T. in. Right. We just weren't sure. Cause right, because we remembered the, the speech. speech about his did mom. Did we want to gamble? You didn't right? put Euchre down. No. Did, no, did, not. did had... somebody put Euchre down? I don't know. Maybe. We had Trump, Kid Rock, Drew Carey, Drew Carey Tyson, Pete Rose, and Pete Rose. Yeah. And Pete Rose. Pete yep. Rose. Yeah. Yeah, we were we kind of waffled a bit on on Schwarzenegger, but then because well, Andy Kaufman's Why in there. Is she too. Going to he was in IMDb for this. Andy Andy Kaufman's in there because right. she's a she dumb bitch. <laughs> That's why. Does she not know Wikipedia exists? Probably I not. I would. I would honestly ask Jeeves. So I would not be surprised would, if she didn't know that. So I would have kept you guys from missing. We still would have won questions. Yeah, we still would have. If you, would have if you strong armed us into Euchre, yeah. we still would have had enough points. We would have, I would have still... punched her in the face if she told me I was wrong. <laughs> I understand that. Uh, yeah, I would, so you. I would, do you, you know what I would have done? I'm not going to lie. She likes it like that. Oh, I would God. have went to the WWE yeah. website and pulled up the roster. You could have done that. Her. And she argued somebody. These yeah. were the answers that I got. Yeah. And she right. It's it's kind of it's kind of like a, a Jeopardy like host prerogative. It's 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 not necessarily the right answer. It's just the answer they're looking for. About Muhammad Ali. So yeah. if we lost those ten points, we still win by six. Yeah. We we so we going into the last the round, we were up by four, and then because in the in the last round. When after you go through and guess 
you know, get all the answers <laughs> one through ten. Tim, we believe you. I know. I, I'm not. I'm not denying <laughs> that he's in there. No fighting, arguments here. I am fighting for a week old me who would have said Bob Euchre. <laughs> Correct, but the the, well, the 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 problem is, is again if it's if it's not the answer they're looking for, then I guess. But if you wrote one half of Crime Time, you would have been right, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so yeah, you would have gotten you would have gotten us another point for Rhino, but you unfortunately because you would we would have been, been wrong on nine. the Cena single and Rhea Ripley's name, so we would have gotten one oh, so more would, point. Yeah, yeah. But, and that was Rhino. You didn't know Rhino. We did not. Well, I went with Tommy Dreamer because of the because uh, Mike Austin took the belt, went to WCW, and they sent mm-hmm. Taz from WWE to get it. And Taz took the belt and dropped it to Dreamer immediately, if I remember correctly. And I thought that was the end of it. No, because then Dreamer lost it the same day to I think just incredible. Okay, I think it went Sandman then Rhino to end it because we we looked it up afterward. Because it was supposed to be, um, because it was supposed to be RVD and Rhino, but RVD like broke his leg. Because oh, we was thought TV RVD champ. would have already been in the yeah, WWE really, really. at that time. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Because my first instinct was no. RVD, and then I was like, "Wait, he's RVD, already gone." RVD doesn't come over until the invasion. Really? Okay. Oh, right. Shit. Yeah, he I would does. He appears in WWE in like '97. Yeah, he they when they were doing Mister Monday Night. Yeah, that was great. Okay, I distinctly remember watching those old Raws when ECW would, um, like appear like the Eliminators or whatever appeared with yeah with Man, Paul Heyman. I, I I distinctly remember that because right after that was Smoky Mountain. I think Smoky Mountain appeared. Oh, and you're like, oh, this God. is just kind of a normal thing. Like there were other smaller promotions that the WWE brings on their television. Yeah, that was well, I still have. Group. Is this? Does this link still work? What well, link? So I have a link to a um, legal means. I assure you. Um, yeah, um, I have a full list of all of the ECW TVs unedited. TV oh, rips. that'd be a fun little watch Ooh. for the entire run. So starting from ninety three on, through... like that's Eastern Championship, right? Ninety three. Yeah. Oh wow. That used to be on the Sports Channel. I remember watching that. It mm-hmm. came on like four o'clock in the afternoon. It was really weird. Or five, I think it was. It was a little later. Not four o'clock, but it was five. Five. O'clock. TV times. TV time at that point. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Um. All right, Ryan. I know you have uh, two separate things. I'll let you pick which one you want to give us first. Well, since we're talking about wrestling, we'll do the wrestling-related one Ooh. first. Don't do Dead or Alive wrestlers. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Dead or Alive undercard-style wrestlers. These are folks you could have found maybe on the undercard. Oh, no. Is this I got real? 15. Are you ready? Oh, no. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Starting with one half of Public Enemy, Johnny Grunge. Dead as fuck. Yeah, he dead. did. He dead. did. Dead as fuck. He died dead. in 2006. He did. They're both dead. So if yeah, you're going to say all... Rocco Rock, he's dead. He too. also did. <laughs> Rocco Rock. I should, that would have been funny. I should have done that. Uh, ECW Roadkill. Amish <laughs> Roadkill? He's alive. Amish Roadkill. Oh. He's, he's a big he's alive. boy. He was a he's big alive. boy. Alive. Alive. He's alive. he's alive and well. He's only eight years older than I am. He's forty-eight. Wow. Okay. Um, Aldo Montoya. Oh, he's alive. Should be dead, but not. <laughs> he's alive. <laughs> right. He's you know what alive. he's doing, Tim? He's serving up pasta. The reason why I say that is because he is he is at the he's at the Jake the Snake Scott Hall level of like abuse. Mm-hmm. Poor guy. So like he's Jeez. on, but he's been he's just riding that lightning bolt. He's mm. 50 years Unfortunately. old. Um, WCW great, the Kiss Demon, Dale Torborg. Alive. He's alive. He's, alive. he's, mm-hmm. he's working for uh, the Blue Jays, isn't he? He is, yeah. He's in baseball. Mm-hmm. He's Shit. in baseball. He's 52 years old. Doing he, did a spot well. at, he did a spot at one of the Joey Janela things or something, didn't 
Bro. Yeah, he Probably. did. A couple of years ago? <laughs> He's not. He was also in TNA for a bit. Um, he was not the original Kiss Demon. Really? It was... Uh, um, I don't know who it was. He's right. one half of your favorite WCW tag team. I was going to fucking say that. God damn it. it was, uh, I said it. Brian Adams. Yeah, Brian Adams. It wouldn't have been Brian Clark. Uh, no. He cuts like a knife. Dead. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Uh-oh. No, Adams, Adams is, Clark is, is alive. Ah, Adams I got that Adam one wrong. <laughs> um, the Bastion Booger. Dead. dead. Ooh, dead. Friar Ferguson? He did. He got dead. dead. He so died in like 2022 dead. or something, didn't he? It, was, it wasn't that long ago. He died in 2010. Yeah, like He's just like I said, for like 15 years, Jim. Yeah, just like I said. Uh, Rodney from the Mean Street Posse. He's still kicking. Oh he man, is. don't tell me he's sneaky. Yeah, he's dead. still kicking. Yeah, he's still with he's us. He's alive. He's alive. Yeah, he's, he's 53, alive. but he's still alive. I thought he was sneaky dead. I was like, <laughs> what about uh, what about Paul Roma from Power and Glory? Should be dead. <laughs> alive. <laughs> alive. Alive. <laughs> Yeah, Dead Paul to Roma's me. alive. He's 64. <laughs> Dead to me. <laughs> Dead to me. <laughs> what about um, everybody's favorite feud against Brett the Hitman Hart? Hakushi. Alive. He's, he's alive. alive. Shinsei Shinzaki, alive and well. I think he's still wrestling. Hakushi's 57, maybe West wrestling. I didn't look it up enough. He did a spring break with Joe Janelle. <laughs> did he really? He did, might actually. have. Yeah. <laughs> um, Would you be surprised? No, uh uh-uh. uh. He faced Blue Kane. Did he really? <laughs> Blue Kane? No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do this, Mark. Um, let's go draws. And I'm not talking just his legs, but draws come on. Also dead. Dude, come dead. on. We did it recently. I didn't a... I don't make the fucking game up. We did a you do make solution. that game up. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, draws died in two thousand twenty three. We had to so like go Jim into giving at least just one ding of the bell that episode. He was upset. Come on, was that the same episode that I asked for? I did the "Give me a ride on the boardwalk." No, it I was think not that was good. A no, <laughs> you said something else that the night. Tram. Who? Nothing. Okay. Uh, Barry Horowitz. Oh, live, live. You're still making it. By the way, Hakushi just had a match uh, a couple weeks ago, August the 18th. Hey. Where? In Japan. What promotion? Um, no. Michinoku Pro. Okay. He wrestled cool. Dory Funk Jr. No, he did not. Even though Dory <laughs> Come Funk is on still now, alive Mark. and wants to wrestle. Yeah, he's, um, he's still pretty active. He's had quite a few matches this year. A lot of matches this year, actually. 57. Good on him. 24 yeah. matches so far this year. That's, That's more than more more than AEW stars. <laughs> Next one. What about the Sean O'Hare? Dead. 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 He Tragic. is dead. He is dead. Uh, we'll stay in he WCW. 40, I, uh, he, I guess he came. Uh, he died in 2014. Uh, what about Alex Wright? Oh, he's, Ooh, he's still alive. alive, isn't he? In like, alive. Um, he's he's like a politician in Germany, I think. No, he's a, he's, a, right. um, he's a trainer. He's Jack now. <laughs> what if he interferes in Gunther's match? Two very different things. Right. No, <laughs> I knew be. there was something up with Alex Wright. Alex Wright looks like he ate Alex Wright. He's so fucking big. Really? Wow. Didn't he's like know that. German. He's like German Randy Orton. He's right either now. a Look. wrestling trainer or a state senator. One of the two. Yes. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> Maybe he's Let's doing go those. on the opposite side of big. Uh, what about Lord Littlebrook? Dead. Oh, Dead. yeah. His, he's all washed up. Oh God! Modern <laughs> medicine for little people was not very good. Not very kind. No, he no. he died in 2016. No, not too long. Uh, what about WCW great Kwiwi? Oh, Kwiwi's so alive. Good. Alive. Yeah. Kwiwi. Kwiwi is Kwiwi. alive. He's uh, 53 years old. Um, and then my 15th one. What about Fake Razor Ramon Rick Bogner? Oh, dead. He said he did. Rick Bogner died. Big Titan. 2019. So five years ago. 15 for 15. Look wow. at that. Y'all know you're dead or alive we wrestlers. We did. Uh, as a tiebreaker, because we have a tiebreaker, nothing to do with wrestling. 50 what points? What year <laughs> for 50 points and the win of the game, closest without going over this time, what year 
Did country singer Patsy Cline die? Ooh. Patsy yeah. Cline. 2023. <laughs> she died in like the 70s. 1982. 1970 on the nose. 1977. Mark happened to be 40 years off. Wait. <laughs> when did you say she died, Mark? Uh, last 2023? year. 2023? Oh, oh, last year. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you were 60 years off. He died in 1963. <laughs> oh, my God. Matthew wins. Wow. With a 50 point bonus. We were Everybody, all actually, over. You nobody all, I say, nobody won. Yeah. We, 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 we yeah, we, we fucking. I should have said nine. I should have said you you won. I should have went one dollar. One. Right. If if it was Price is Right rules, we would have all gotten the and then we would have had to go again. Yeah, we all bought. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If it was uh, (laughs) a contestants row or bidding row, yeah. Well, because you all did so bad, we have to take one of the live wrestlers and unalive them. (laughs) Paul Roma. Paul Roma. (laughs) Paul Roma. See you, Paul. (laughs) The worst horseman ever. There it goes. Mongo's on his deathbed. I want Paul Roma gone. I want him gone before Mongo. Yes. Why not? I want you to take I want you to wring all the life out of Paul Roma and inject it into Mongo. Give it to there Mongo. You there you go. Never mind that shit. Here comes Mongo. All right. Um let's keep the wrestle train going. We got the we got the chat GPT stuff. So oh, let's God. Let's let's go. We we have a few more of these left. Oh God. Um. All right. Tag team glory. Hardy boys, Dudley boys, or Edge and Christian. Edge and Christian. Easy. E and C. The Dudley boys. I'd go E and C big, for the entertainment big value. Dudley fan over here. I better go with the Dudley boys. I don't want Bubba Ray coming to get me. You would. Oh, wow. He does. He does like to come well, after people with less than a hundred so Twitter scared. followers. Yeah, he his name is Mark. Yeah. Um, Big Fraid. Uh what makes a better champion, heel or face? Heel. What? Heel. Heel. I agree, pay? heel, because you pay to see the heel beat. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. You pay to the, see the that. The value heel. in the face is the is the chase. Right. I'm gonna go face. Well, that's like the Hulkster. Jim likes to put his face on some heels. Oh, yeah, he does. He sure does. Nope. nope. He likes them in stockings. Only foots. Oh, God damn it. Only foots. Uh, the, uh, get a leg up. <laughs> the Undertaker's streak, should it have ended? No. Yes, 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 but not with who it ended with. Yes, and with it, who it ended with. Agree. Change nothing. Change nothing. Wrong, like, but nice try. So you say it should have ended, but not with Brock. Yes. Okay. It should have ended. All right. It should have end. It should have ended with his opponent at thirty-one, Bray Wyatt. Okay. Um, best wrestling promotion: WWE or AEW? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jim. It yeah, was on the paper. Fair. They said wrestling promotion, not entertainment. AEW. They have the better wrestling matches. They not did say better wrestling, not sports entertainment. And not for that reason, I will it's say WWE. Because WWE has had the head start for over 50 years. <laughs> oh. If you believe it, Tim, for over 50 years. Uh, I got the joke in. You can stop. Yeah. Um, you can't t- piggy tail or piggy tail. Piggy back on. Piggy tail. Piggy tail. Piggy tail. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 let's do piggy back and coattail together. <laughs> Great right. question. Tail. Um, AEW, I'm down. I'm down. I, I like the the validity of the question. Better wrestling AEW because it's where the best wrestle. Ah, uh, yes, because the tagline definitely makes it true. Yes, you'll never see it coming. <laughs> That's, That's where the big boys play. They do. Huh? Look at the adjective. <laughs> did you give an? Did you give an answer, Mark? Um, if you're talking about wrestling. It's uh, AEW, but WWE's far superior. Yeah, you're, I'm the, today's not going to be the day I sell out WWE. Um, gimmick matches: Hell in a Cell or TLC? Hell in a Cell. TLC. 
stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say without TLC, we never get a tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs match. We don't get a Wii LC match. That's true. Yeah, that is true. Man, mankind doesn't die three times without Hell in a Cell. No, that's also yep. true. Sounds Hell in a true. Cell, baby. I'll still go TLC. But I'm thankful they didn't put I quit in there or else I would have just been torn. TLC never ended in a no uh, no decision. Give me TLC. <laughs> um, Cross. Quit. What's, do you want to quit? Uh, you give up. The match just started. Ring the bell. Do you give up? <laughs> Uh, crossover stars: The Rock in Hollywood or John Cena in Hollywood? Oh. Joe Hendry in a- NXT. <laughs> I believe it. Uh, the um, Rock. This is a this is an absolute give. The Rock, not even close. Yeah. Have you seen Ricky Stenicky? Have you seen Blockers? <laughs> it's The Rock. Boy, I'm sorry. What was the question? Uh, the Rock in Hollywood or John Cena in Hollywood? John Cena. No, The Rock. Well, Matt's a movie guy. I'll still go with The Rock. I think the real um, answer is actually Batista. Batista right? overall. <laughs> I was going to say, the real answer is Batista. I'm not even a Batista guy, and that's the real answer. Because he's a Hall of fucking Famer. Yeah. Uh, I mean, sure, but he is a very good actor. I mean, I'll go The you Rock. Do, I mean, you don't get much better. And serious. You don't get better than the Tooth Fairy. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go Cena. I'm going to go with The Rock. Did you guys Cena's see a, uh, a better actor. Batista on Chris Van Vliet? I did yes, not. I did. It's like they got this gray beard. He's looking he real small. So... God, I looks... would fuck him so well, hard. <laughs> okay, that's wild. He looks what? so good. The older he gets, the better looking he gets. Why well, sound like you a... would... <laughs> if you would give me eight guesses of what Tim was going to say? <laughs> fuck him so good not on the list. I would. That I would not... fuck him so yeah. hard. Would not have been. He would. I would give him the hardest what? mediocre weenering of his life. <laughs> oh my god! I'd be very enthusiastic. Now you got Joe that. upset again. Uh, I I saw a picture of Batista. It was probably about like four too. or five months ago, and people were like, "Oh, he's sick. He looks sick. I wonder if he's okay." I'm like, "No, he just doesn't have to bodybuild to be a goddamn wrestler anymore. Yeah. He looks like a normal human being now. He's I mean, two hundred and forty he, he pounds." Up. He blew up like three fifteen for the knock in the cabin door or whatever it was called. <laughs> knock in the cabin, cabin in the door. woods, something like that. That was a really good film. Matt, what was it called? Um, what was that? It's called? about a door and a cabin now in woods, me, right? Yeah, because you keep saying random movie titles. And maybe knocking was involved. Maybe. I think it was who's at my door. I think it was a door. <laughs> who's at the cabin? Who's at my door? Who's at my door? <laughs> he says, who's, who's that if you've not seen that anyway it's a great film i think you all would enjoy it <laughs> who's at my door who's at my door who's at my door i think he said who's that was the door? biggest he was ever in his career is like well i think i found the title of this podcast who's at my door who's at my door who's at my door yeah that was a very it's, very solid movie. that's that's not... batista showing his range as an actor mm-hmm. yeah that was fantastic so it's, it's not uh um, enthusiastic, mediocre wienering. That's not the. No, that's no, not going to make the title. Well, we need to have a subtitle, right? That's true. A, a good tagline, a good catchphrase. The Vienna sausage. Now, Mark, is that M A apostrophe door? Is credit. that M A H door? What? It's an apostrophe. M M A apostrophe door. Okay. Who's that? Madore. And and there's no space between the apostrophe and door, right? It's like Madore. Right. Right. Who's that? Mador? Mador. Like my lady. Yeah, my lady and Mador. Um, all right. Uh, best women's wrestler, Charlotte Flair or Becky Lynch? Charlotte Flair. Yeah, probably Flair. Entertainer, Charlotte Flair. Wrestler, Becky Lynch. Give me the opposite of what Matt said. Entertainer, Becky Lynch. Wrestler, yeah. Charlotte Flair. I disagree. Yeah, Jim I'll go. Says, no, it's no, Natty Nightmare. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Sh- I'll go. Charlotte on this one. Charlotte. Yes. Um, I just hope <laughs> he doesn't text me. No. Um. Which is which is the real sport? Pro wrestling or MMA? Well, one of them's definitely getting hit really hard for real. Uh, pro wrestling. 
Pro wrestling. Come on now. Wrestling. What a dumb question. It is a stupid question because they're two very different things. But you have to train sometimes to be in ring going full speed for 25, 30 minutes plus. So pro wrestling. That's true. Pro wrestling. It's real. Um, Good night. Japanese wrestling. New Japan versus All Japan. Noah. <laughs> Stardom. <laughs> if you're talking all time, it's all Japan. If you're talking now, all Japan doesn't exist. That's a good point. Well, what that do you think Chat GPT is talking about, Tim? Probably all time. I'll go all Japan. I'll go New Japan. I'll Triple go Crown is amazing. One. Yeah, I'll go I'll go New Japan because I feel like it's an I'm taking it as a now question. Now. Um yeah. Managerial excellence, Bobby Heenan or Paul Heyman? That's tough. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's actually a hard question. Man. Finally, a good <laughs> question from Chat GPT. Without Heenan, there would be no Heyman. At least I would think there would be no Heyman. Man, I got to go with Heyman. Had so many people like, in his stable over time. But he also had Ryback in his stable. <laughs> he didn't. Man, he didn't. He, he didn't. Do yeah, you sold me there on Ryback. As as a as a manager, <laughs> I I go he and Curtis Axel too, right? Curtis yeah. Axel was uh, a uh, guy. Curtis Axel who still and, hasn't been eliminated from the Royal Rumble. That's fair. And Bobby Heenan had Bobby Heenan had the Brooklyn Brawler and the Red Rooster. And the missing link. You haven't said anyone worse than Ryback yet, Tim. <laughs> it's it's At least the Ryback was over. Man. At that point? Yeah. Have any of you guys was... tried that wrestling prime? He was prime? fighting CM Punk in the main event. I How did. Was he not over with Paul Heyman. <laughs> Paul that was Heyman more of a Punk and Heyman feud than a Ryback and, and Punk well, feud. Right, intern in Mark right would have been a fucking right Heyman guy and, and fit yeah, into that's, that match. It's not being over. Yeah. <laughs> that was it the whole like more. that was the whole bully stage too, right? I don't like bullies. Yeah. Oh, Stupid. Like yeah, Heenan. I, like I I sold myself. Yeah, I I'll I'll go Heenan. I'll go Heenan for for manager. Hyman. Hyman. I'll go Hyman. <laughs> I'll go Hyman. Hyman for the win. Hyman. Um. All right. Best best WrestleMania matches of all time. Team Undertaker, Team Shawn Michaels, or Team Everybody Else? It's his <laughs> Team Other Picks. It's just a horrible question. Actually, you know what? Going really through this action. exercise with ChatGPT, I'm not afraid of the cyborgs taking over. So, uh, They'll end so up Plaxico I'm, bursting themselves. If I'm fair, if I'm honest, like... I think that's actually a decent question. Like, are you, t if you're talking about best WrestleMania matches, are you taking Shawn Michaels? Are you taking the undertaker? Or are you taking the field? Correct. That's the, that's the question. Thank you for rephrasing that for the idiots listening, Tim. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but like, make it a good question. Just rephrasing it. it but it is a good question. Cause it's not like but every Shawn Michaels match question. at WrestleMania was that's good. A great question, Tim. Just like The Undertaker. The Undertaker didn't start having good WrestleMania matches until... The Undertaker 21. didn't have great WrestleMania matches. He yeah, he didn't have a ton of good WrestleMania matches. 17? You ever get that 17? Nathan Jones banger? <laughs> I think the great <laughs> ones he had were with Michaels, right? The, the, be yes. the best ones, yeah. Right. Uh, well, seven, he had three with Triple H. He had two with Shawn Michaels. His one with Randy Orton was really good. His the, one with Mark Henry was better than it should have been. The punk Batista match was, was good. was a banger at 23. The punk there match three was Kane. good because of CM Punk. Correct. No. It was there Taker's was one wrestler drive. that's It was also really good because... This is an easy fucking answer. It's Shawn Michaels. The, it's also really good because we were, we were very emotionally invested in the punk match, too. I'll take Bret Hart over them. Over the both oh. of them. Oh. Fuck Tim! <laughs> So you're taking Bread the field? Eight. Bread at eight is better. Ten is better. Oh, Eleven's better. Twelve is better. 
13 is better? That's five. Uh, that was uh Bret Hart. Yeah. Give me the field. But you also get every single shit WrestleMania match with that. Does that sure. outweigh the good that those But you also get you Bret also Hart get, get you. you also get the best the best of the, the the best of the best otherwise too. Like you get I get every Roman Reigns match except for The Undertaker. You get the boat. Well, no, the the Boneyard match would be the under. Shit. Listen, I'm trying to. I'm. I'm. I'm going to end up talking myself around. A lot. Get every Randy Orton match except for twenty one. Give me the field, man. Seth Rollins. Give me the field. The field. I mean, I'm a. Shawn Michaels fan. He's number two in my top five, but if you're giving me every other single WrestleMania match, there's going to be plenty. That's why I think the question's stupid. Yeah, the the, the question isn't great. It should be like it should be like Undertaker's bet. Even if like these are the these are the three that you're debating against, it should be like the Undertaker's best match versus Michael's best match versus the field's best match. So you got to then you have to like decide what is the best match that doesn't involve the Undertaker or Shawn Michaels the in, best the, his, WrestleMania match, in yeah. the history of WrestleMania and then you put those three against each other. In that instance I probably go Michaels then. Well then the hard part is is the Undertaker's best <laughs> WrestleMania match is against Shawn Michaels. He's against Shawn Michaels. Right. And and what the is the best and, other ones? Clearly, Big Show versus Aki Bono. That's right. <laughs> I mean, the best, the best Bret Hart match and the best Shawn Michaels match is probably their match together, right? Uh, I think the best Bret Mania match is against Stone Cold. Mm-hmm. At thirteen, okay. 15. At thirteen. Um, but Michaels is was is probably the Iron Man match. Michaels' best WrestleMania match is the Iron Man. Probably. What What do you think it is? Or is it against the... Is, is it, was, it also it a Taker match? 24 versus The Undertaker. And then Takers would be... 24 versus Shawn Michaels. So each one, okay. Um, even Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle at 21 is better than the Iron Man match. His match with Chris Jericho at 19 is better. Uh, I don't know. I don't like the triple threat match from 20, but I think that's better than the Iron Man match. Well, that can't be. You're making a really good argument for Shawn Michaels here, Tim. (laughs) (laughs) Keep bringing up the really good Shawn Michaels matches. All right. But yeah, Chad GPT. My gosh. What a a, a question. Everyone else. Uh, What's more important, tag team career or singles career? Singles. And that also depends on on the wrestler. The wrestler, yeah. Right. Because Jimmy Uso, tag team. <laughs> Arn Anderson, tag team. Right. Tag team, yes. Bobby Eaton, tag team. Tag right. Team. Larry Zabisco, tag team. The Road Warriors, tag Paul team. Paul Roma, none. But just as like a just as like a general <laughs> question, I would say singles because like I mean, that's probably more important for someone that's getting into wrestling. Yeah, because like to me, like everybody, everybody that like I feel like everybody that grows that get that wants to be a wrestler when they grow up, they want to grow up to be world champion. They don't want to grow up to be tag team champion. Right. Bye, Bye Mark. Mark. Whoop. <laughs> oh, we lost him. He gone. He gone. He gone. Uh, that or was you the have last... a family member um, that you leave behind in the dust, like Bret Hart and Jim the Anvil. Exactly. <laughs> you know you're better than... Tag team was really important to Jim the Anvil Nightheart. It was his lifelong dream to be a tag team champion with his cousin Bret Hart or whatever the fuck they were. Brother-in-law? Whatever. <laughs> So did did like Indy, did out. Indy snipe Mark? Is that what happened? I hope so. Fuck, I hope so. <laughs> I hope she got him. Um, so that was the I last just, of those. We actually we finally. Made... I feel like I look worn down from dealing with Mark. <laughs> just, we we, had, we <laughs> were with feel, him last night. We were with him. That's last... just it's tough. I'm yeah. Is Mark finally done with community college where we can stop marking off all of his college credits? 
I, gosh, I hope so. Do you think Mark ever watched Community? No. No. No, I, think Mark can I think a lot community? of the storylines in Community no. would have gone over Mark's head. You think so? Yeah. Probably. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it I as watched well. it recently. I didn't Nothing watched it live. I watched head. it recently. He's, his reflexes are too fast. <clears throat> Did um, he die? What happened? I have no clue what happened. Did, I'm uh, not gonna hey, say let's it. just enjoy. All right. Well, I already told him what our keep five, delete five topic God would be. And it. he told me. He was not sure of some of these anyway. Oh, so it's a him. fine time to do it without him. Ah, oh, damn it. Hello. What What I happened? Are you okay? A... I remember back in the day when your phone would tell you before it died. <laughs> <laughs> and you still happen. have money left over oh, to get a charge. Right, James, let's chill out. Mark, we're going to do keep five, cut five. All right. This might be the hardest one yet. We're going to keep five, cut five. Nickelodeon TV shows. All right. Oh, God. Holy cats. All right. Ah, this, this Mark gonna... Nickelodeon was a television shows um, that, well, this is after TV was colored, so you probably don't know. I don't remember this. So you know how, like, you had the Saturday funnies that were chiseled into stone tablets? Yes. So that's like what we had with Nickelodeon, but it was like colorized in on in moving yeah. moving picture form on our TVs. Yeah, that'll never pan out there. It ain't never going to stick. No, nah, never will. No. Number one, Ren and Stimpy. Ooh, close. Number two, Rugrats. Number three. Double Dare and or any variety of Double Dare you'd like to slide in here. Number four, you can't say that on television. I thought it was you can't do that on television. I believe it's Say. It is Say. Is it? It was like a Canadian show that we like syndicated uh, on Nickelodeon. You can't say um, that. Because <laughs> then they would get slimed, right? Yeah. That, was, that was the yeah. gimmick. Uh, hey, dude. Hey, dude, it's a little wild and a little strange. God damn, that one sucks. Oh, God. When you make a home out on that the range. so bad. Yeah, this already hurts. Number six, hey, Arnold. Mark, he had a football-shaped head. Arnold did. And he had a cow friend. I think about... his name was Heifer. That's Rocco's Modern Life. <laughs> oh, right. I wasn't close. <laughs> Are you talking about the, the pig from Green Acres? Yes. That's the one. Seven Legends of the Hidden Temple. Number eight, Doug, specifically the Quail Man episodes. Uh, number nine, that. salute your shorts. God, I hate you so fucking much. I'm sorry, it's not supposed to be easy. And number That's ten, hurts. do 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 you have it? Guts. God, yeah. Damn good it. luck cutting five of them assholes. Oh, I got you. This is easy. Matter Mark, fact, how many can... of those ten have you ever watched? Three. Okay, this will be easy for Mark. Yeah, but I'll cut seven of them. Which which three have you watched? Double Dare, uh, the Legends of the Hidden Temple, and I don't really like Guts, but I will take it just because uh, you know I have to do something. So you were definitely more of the um, like the game show style Nickelodeon okay. watcher then. Correct. I would take Double Dare over any of them any day of the week. Okay. What Double was your favorite mine. team on Legends of the Hidden Temple? What color? I were have they? mine as well. Well, probably the uh, Purple Parrots. The purple Parrots. Solid team. You like the Blue Iguanas. Uh, that was No, there was the Blue Barracudas. Oh, uh, and the I Green Iguanas. it was iguanas. the Green Iguanas. The silver Monkeys. No, there were Silver Snakes. I thought there were the Silver Snakes. Or was it the Silver Snakes? It was All the right, Blue Monkeys. I got mine. I no, it was mine. the blue barracudas. What were the monkeys? The at? Silver the red snakes. monkeys. Red monkeys, maybe. I'd like to punch right. Omec. Omec, let's rock. Let's rock. Okay. All right. So I kept two cartoons, two game shows, and a live action show. I did the same. Okay. Oh. You don't have to do it that way. I'm just saying that's how mine broke down. Yep. I have, okay. I have. I have. I so have let's... two cartoons, one game show, and two live action. 
Okay. Okay. So do you want me to go down and we'll just thumbs up, thumbs down? Yeah. We'll start that way. Let's do that. Uh, so Ren and Stimpy. We only have one thumb up, three That's thumbs fine. down. I mean, if I um, had to, I would take Ren and Stimpy if I need to get to five. Jesus, Mark, you have to get the five. Mark, the whole point of the right. game is keep five, delete five. All right, so All right, we're split on that. There's nine other options. You're picking the first one you hear? Yeah. You're fast. See, no, no, that's an older one, and Mark's an, an old, old man. I'm an old man. Uh, rug rats. <laughs> okay, we split that one. This is going real good. <laughs> uh, double dare. Okay, that's the first one we've had three. Matt's a heel. So for now, Double Dare stays. I took Double Dare off when Mark was going through his <laughs> speech. Okay, yeah, that'll happen. Okay. Way to go, Mark. Uh, you can't pet. say that on television. That's the first you know, one. That fucking oh. graphic with the guy's face scared me as a kid. It was so loud, too, with like the siren. Like It was definitely fucking very aggressive. Like the, the, en- the, the entrance music. Jesus Christ. Hey, dude. That one we split in half. Oh, fuck me. Hey, Arnold. All right, hey, Arnold's gone. All right, we've eliminated two so far for sure. Yep. Legends of the Hidden Temple. That's a three. So that one is the other one that stays so far for sure. And what was the other one? Double there? Double there mm-hmm. the one, yeah. That also had had three. Uh, but about Doug? Doug. Doug. Yes. Three Doug stays. Uh, salute your shorts. That one's split in half. And then Guts. And that one's split in half. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. All right, so we have Double Dare and Legends of the Hidden Temple staying. And Doug. That's the one. And Doug. Oh, and Doug, I'm sorry. That's the three so far that have the most votes. So we will run through. And the three that got eliminated, I think. Was Hey Arnold? You can't say that on television. It was Ren and Stimpy was Ren and split, Stimpy right? only. Ren and Stimpy, Ren and Stimpy had two. Two and yeah. two. Yeah. yeah. So then Guts, Hey Dude, and Ren and Stimpy. Are no, split. Guts had two and two. So Guts, hey, had Guts had two and two. So, so you can't yeah. say that on television. Hey Arnold and Hey Dude were crossed out? Hey, no, dude hey, was dude, split. Hey, hey, dude, was dude, split. it was only two that we lost. We were okay, eliminated okay. two. But guaranteed three. Uh, Double Dare, Legends of the Hidden Temple, and Doug stays. So I am I am happy to sacrifice Salute Your Shorts, but I'm going to fight for Rugrats. Yeah, if, okay, so yeah, out of, because I have, I have three that are. Rugrats is not on mine to keep. I, I have three that I kept that are still alive. I, I would also be willing to sacrifice salute your... You said salute your shorts, Tim? Mm-hmm. I'd be willing to sacrifice salute your shorts, but I yeah, I would want I would want Rugrats in. I mean, you two are the two that voted up for Rugrats, so you're arguing with yourselves. Well, no, they're, they're sacrificing... I'm sacrificing. We're, we're, yeah, because we were both uh, we were both okay. thumbs up on salute your shorts. Gotcha. Right, we're giving up salute your shorts. Gotcha. But they but want Rugrats. Rats. You and Mark thumbed up on Ren and Stimpy. I really want Ren and Stimpy. And guts. I will get rid of guts for Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Mark, are, are you, is that a good for you? I'll give you. A, I like Ren. And, well, I don't like him, but I I would choose Ren and Stimpy over. Uh, what was the other option? Guts. guts. It's that or guts right now. All right, so we're uh, getting rid of guts and salute your shorts. Well, no, Mark hasn't made his mind up. He's just fucking around with hey. fireworks right now. Well, then I did, but uh... <laughs> God, no, fucking... no, now he can't get no, it to can... work. Well, it's not right, a video I... podcast. Yeah, right. I would do. Uh, I would get rid of guts for Ren and Stimpy. Okay. All right, so we're All getting right. rid of so... guts and salute your shorts, but we're putting in Rugrats and Ren and Stimpy. So then we have. What's it's left five. now? No. Oh yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Should be Rugrats so double dare. Yeah, so hey dude, hey dude is lost as well. Yeah, okay. that's okay. That's, that's okay. Fine. 
So Rugrats, Double Dare, Legends of the Hem- Hidden Temple, Doug, and Ren and Stimpy. So I initially was going with... to keep Double Dare over Hey Dude. I just took Double Dare off because, again, Mark was... This is Mark. I, mm-hmm. makes sense. I was upset. So that, that means we lose all live-action shows. We have three cartoons and two... Game shows, yeah. Game, Game shows. shows. Now, if you had put Are You Afraid of the Dark on there instead of Salute Your Shorts or... That, or that Dude, Are You Afraid of the Dark was so good. I would have fought for Are You Afraid oh, of the Dark. Oh, absolutely. I love that. Have I you watched have any... Given you... I would have given you guys Are You Afraid of the Dark because I do, I acknowledge that it's Are You Afraid of the Dark is a really good show. It is not for me. It is cheesy as same, fuck. Same with, like, I went back and like watched a couple episodes on Paramount last year. There was one I remember being afraid of as a child and I went back and watched it. I was like, this is like, like Liesl could probably watch this now. Seriously. Yeah. I, <laughs> so I'll tell you, I'll, I'll put myself on, on Front Street. Um... I was afraid of the intro. It was creepy. With, with oh, are you afraid of the dark? Around the campfire, throwing the ashes into the fucking fire. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It was just, creepy. That yep. was spooky enough for me. Right. Oh, it's it funny because like, for the what was the spiel like presented for submitted to the appro- spooky, submitted by the approval, approval of the Midnight, of the Midnight Society. Society. Right. I yeah, present to the, you yeah. the pinball wizard. I used to say that every time we would have a fire pit out back, and I would just like throw random shit into the fire. <laughs> it wasn't even like sand or dirt or whatever they did. Just grass clipping. Like an empty beer can. My <laughs> All the chocolate you guys want to use for snores. No, those are hard to snores. It's a creepy show, man. At the creep- creepy ass clown doll. Nick Arcade, I would have fought somebody. Oh, that show was shit. It was the best. That oh, shit so did half the, ha- work half the time. Done that. I, hated, shit was great. I hated the host, too. That oh, host racist. sucked. <laughs> no. He sucked in any color. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's it, folks. We've wow. been canceled again. Heard. Thanks, in Inver- It was. One, Are You Afraid of the Dark was Canadian as well, I think, right? I think that was. Yeah, Nickelodeon did a ton of, but dude. It was much better than Goosebumps. Oh, yeah. I would have fought for. I would have fought for Figure It Out just for Summer Sanders. Oh. Praise be. I forgot all about that show. Dude, this intro. To, you can't do that on television is terrifying still. I also probably would have fought for Pete and Pete over Hey Dude. Pete and Pete holds up too. It does. If you've not watched Pete and Pete, go back and watch it. It really holds up. I do, yeah. Um, I do like great, Pete. That's a great song too. Their fucking like, theme is fantastic. Hey Appreciate Sandy. you not including uh, all that thanks to the uh, Quiet on the Set doc. Mm. Well, you know, <laughs> all you that know. was on the quiet on the set doc. I still haven't seen that. I, I, yeah, I'm st- I still, I, I forgot to watch some, the last episode. I mean, there's a big storyline with Amanda Bynes, and she, yeah. oh, that makes sense. Right, that's where she yeah. started on that, yeah. right? Yeah. Was it was yeah. that, and then the yeah. Amanda Bynes show. Amanda Amanda show. show. Yeah. yeah, I think I think everything I put on the list was pre Dan Snyder. I believe, yeah, you I haven't watched think... it yet, Tim. I've no, not watched it yet to. myself either. Oh, it's it's tough. It's, episode four yeah. is. Uh, that's I haven't watched episode Is that the four Drake yet. And Josh episode. Yeah, yeah, I haven't watched that one yet. I watched the first that's, three. That Drake was, was actually upsetting. just up at uh, Hershey Park not too long ago. I still have to finish the Lou Pearlman documentary. Mark that's really Pearlman. good. I like that a lot. I have to watch the Steve McNair doc. The Steve McNair doc looks good. There's also a Lacey Peterson doc now. Just saw that came out too. Yeah, oh. I, I never watched either of those. Yep. Lacey Evans doc. Oof. <laughs> That's I don't know if you can call her OnlyFans a doc. I haven't watched that either. <laughs> There's a, I, the- I saw in one of my DGen group chat, somebody sent a picture of um, Ash by Elegance in a bikini choking Lacey Evans in a bikini. Oh. Uh. That sure. was, I, mean, I can send that. To I was going to say. I mean, just for want. scientific purposes, I feel for like science. You know, I feel like you should probably just send that to science. us. 
for for science. Isn't the, uh, I just gotta find it. The, I gotta figure out which Dgen chat for research. For yeah, for yeah. I mean, research. here we go. If we talk about it, we need to see it. Okay. Well, that's not hard to fap to. <laughs> yeah. Holy cat! I'll give you guys the full the full. Footage. Yeah, I fapped to that last night. Um. Yeah. So it's you know. It's... I don't even want to know what Ryan was talking about there. I God, I don't even remember. I really don't. It's a, it's a Batista interview. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> How did you know? It was uh, that Chris Van Vliet episode. That, there it was. <laughs> present day dude watching those clips of the jesse ventura one and i've seen other clips of him recently and i'm just like man i remember when i thought this dude was a total fucking whack a nut and i realized more and more that i'm like this guy's actually really fucking smart and i think that's what maturing and being adult is it's, chris grand bleed uh jesse ventura oh, oh. is realizing that a lot of his ideas were not as quacked out as as a young stupid jim thought they were no. Did you hear that uh, Jesse Ventura is a signature away from a Legends deal? Yeah, yeah. He said he's, oh. he's it, the both. There's a con- according to according to Jesse Ventura, there's a contract already done. There's contracts with our agreed. name on it. The contract's already been agreed to. I just have to sign it. There's only <laughs> there's there's two lines for two signatures. One's for me. One's for the WWE. And then once I cool. sign it, I'm going to go down to the bar. <laughs> That'd be nice. And to have I'm going to have myself a Mai Tai on the beach. Hogan showed me out to Vince. And then when I punched the Predator in the face, and he I said, I got back. my union, the Screen Actors Guild. And I'm going to tell him I ain't got time to bleed. I don't, got, I don't need your union now. I got mine, Vince. <laughs> I'm so glad Vince McMahon is gone because now everything goes through the corporation. They're very transparent. It's very good. It's much better these days. <laughs> All right. Well, th- thanks for playing along, everybody. Yeah. We will. Uh, we'll be back live this Thursday. Is there a pay per view that we have to preview this Thursday, or is this the All only Thursday. All Out? Oh, Shit, Jesus! So oh, many. There's so many things. So it's many so pay per views. To be a wrestling fan today, Jimbo. Now, if the show's in Canada, it's all loot. It is all it's loot. loot. <laughs> it's practically <laughs> up in Minnesota. Loot. I was the governor there. <laughs> it might as well be Canada. It's like there. Little Canada down here in Minnesota. Let I don't Minnesota. spend a lot of time there. I spend most of my time down in the bar. So I guess we're still not doing our Mount Rushmore TV shows. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Oh, sorry, we missed we it. We ran out of time. We'll Post-it get notes back been to on you, my Matt desk. <laughs> like sorry, we'll get there eventually. Oh, there's there's bound to be another week where we need a topic. Come on, Monsoon. <laughs> give, give it to a Monsoon. All right, we will be back live Thursday. Just pre- Every week, we're just going to preview pay-per-views. Cause that's... That's I'm what so we do now. Pretending to watch wrestling pay per views week in and week out. <laughs> Ryan, it's okay. We don't. Need, we, we, we'll be at the beach during that pay per view, so we don't even need to worry right. about. Did it. Did somebody yeah. say the beach? The, <laughs> there's lucky. a beach down there in the Baja. All right. There's a beach in the Congo. <laughs> Follow us at Three Count Thursday Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Subscribe to the YouTube all podcast platforms. Get our merch over at tpublic.com. And until Thursday. Stay safe, stay smart, and as always, go for the pin. Looks like two cars fighting over the same piece of corn in the Mississippi. (laughs) You don't talk about the Arby's customers like that. (laughs) Beef and cheddar five for five.